In order to get the best experience from Zoom, you should download the Zoom client on your computer. You may have already downloaded the client if you've already participated in a Zoom meeting. So here, the first thing that we'll do is check. So from your, uh, your menu, your start menu, select that and see at the bottom of the list if you have anything listed for Zoom. In my case, I do not. So I do not have the Zoom client yet. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and download the client. To do that, I'm gonna open up a web browser and I'm going to zoom.us slash download. And I want to click the download button. So it will download the Zoom installer. And now I am going to start the Zoom installer. And now Zoom gives me an opportunity to join a meeting or sign in. I recommend that you sign in and I have different accounts. The one I typically use is, with, is associated with my Google, but you would sign in with your username and password. You are ready to use the features of Zoom. And if everything goes right, you should have a new application that opens up. It is called, you know, it's basically your Zoom. You can see if you need any updates, so you can always check for updates. And I have another video for that. Um, and we need to make sure that we're running on 5.3.1, at least at this moment in time. So another way of checking is to go back to your start menu. And I select the start menu. And once again, I look through my applications. And now I have Zoom and the Zoom app. And that's what we want to make sure that is available. So always sign in with that.